So I want to talk about an interesting relationship between vitiligo and copper, okay? Uh, what is vitiligo? It's an autoimmune condition where your body is attacking certain cells that make melanin. So without melanin, you don't have the pigment and you have these white spots. So it's a loss of melanocyte function. So the way this works is you have a melanocyte that makes melanin, which is the, gives you the pigment in the skin, and it works through uh, this conversion of an amino acid to a certain enzyme, tyrosinase. Anything with an ACE is an enzyme. So you need this enzyme to be able to make melanin. And to make this enzyme work, you need copper. So the entire structure of this enzyme, which is a protein, requires copper. And many enzymes in the body require minerals as their cofactor, helper, nutrients. Now, when you have too much of this enzyme, you can get a hyperpigmentation of the skin and get dark spots or aging spots. That's what that is. And there's all sorts of remedies, uh, uh, copper chelators that actually pull copper out. But vitiligo is an autoimmune condition, okay? So the body is making antibodies to attack itself. So we have a lot of inflammation. We have a lot of oxidation. So we have a defective antioxidant system. And the body is actually making too much hydrogen peroxide. Um, this is a very powerful oxidant. And you can even try this at home. Put some hydrogen peroxide in your hair and see what happens. No, don't do this. It'll actually bleach the hair, okay? So in your body, that's what's actually happening to your skin. And the main antioxidant that rids this hydrogen peroxide uses copper and zinc. So when you have too much hydrogen peroxide, it can decrease this enzyme. And if you have enough of this enzyme, you can counter the hydrogen peroxide. But in this situation, we have these cells that are defective and we're not able to make the melanin in sufficient quantities. So there's a couple things you can do. Uh, you can get a copper cream and put that directly on the skin to supply what your body needs to make this enzyme, okay? Number two, you can take some zinc because this is involved in this very powerful antioxidant to start building up your defenses against this oxidation. And number three, vitamin D3, okay? Why vitamin D3? Why is that good for vitiligo? Well, it's good for autoimmune conditions. But if you think about what is the medical treatment for vitiligo besides UV light or phototherapy is corticosteroids like prednisone. So they use prednisone in dealing with autoimmune conditions. Guess what vitamin D3 is? It's also a steroid. D3 will help build up your body's own natural steroids. And it's also a very powerful immune regulator to help the immune system, as well as decrease the inflammation involved in this condition. So number one, do the copper cream, zinc, and vitamin D3. All right, thanks for watching. So if you wanna get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.